Today, we'll take a look at this short clip and then dissect it to better illustrate what happened and how can you apply the same principle in your games. Let's watch. Someone better help Dyer's middle tower. Dyer's snow fortified the structures. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Its bottom tower is being chipped away. Dyer's bottom tower is shattered. Where did Radiant's pieces. middle tower go? First, we need to talk about power spikes. The term is mostly used to describe a hero hitting a certain level or acquiring a certain item. For the purpose of this video, we'll define power spike as something that makes a particular area, in this case the bottom lane, more favored to either of the teams. So what currently makes Radiant strong in the bottom lane? Warlock is about to hit level 6, a powerful spell is about to be unlocked. We have a catapult joining the wave with us, extra damage will be done to the tower. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we also need to think what makes the Dire weak right now, the reverse power spike. Sand King is currently alone, he cannot put out enough pressure to force us out. Enemy Ember and Leshrac are currently committed to the middle lane, they will not be able to effectively join the bottom tower defense. And while the enemy Phantom Lancer could join the fight, he'd have just wasted a teleport and give out information to our Morphling and Lion that they can safely pressure the top tower. Either way, we're making impact somewhere on the map. So, with this information, we successfully take down bottom tower, effectively transitioning our power spike into an objective. Same as power spikes, objectives don't have to be just towers. It can be taking down strong enemy core, securing space on the map, or collecting pages. As long as you recognize those moments where your team is stronger than the enemies, and use this knowledge to apply pressure somewhere, you're doing the right thing. This completes today's topic. Thank you for watching. Good luck.